Hello, this is Eric White. One recurring theme that comes up again and again when doing fairly interesting manipulation of OpenXML word processing ML documents is that it often is most effective to transform word processing ML to some other form that is easier to work with in certain scenarios do the manipulation that you need to do, and then, in the end, transform it back. There are a variety of these intermediate transforms. Some of these transforms simplify markup. Other transforms remove tracked changes. You might want to remove bookmarks or endnotes or footnotes for some reason to make it easier to transform. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite ways to implement sophisticated approaches to sub-run processing of text in a word processing document. This approach is one of splitting runs up into multiple runs, each with a single character in it. In Power Tools for OpenXML, I took this approach with Comment Merger and Text Replacer. The basic problem stems from how runs must be split up when you have some interesting markup in the paragraph at the run level. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to create a word processing document. I'm going to insert a single paragraph with a single sentence in it. That's what that rand open paren one comma one close paren does. Now I'm going to go to the beginning of this paragraph and I am going to select the insert tab and make it bold. I'll save the document, I'll close it, and I'm going to drag this document onto Visual Studio and we're going to take a look at this document in the OpenXML Package Editor Power Tool for Visual Studio 2010. I'll open document.xml and I'll format the markup so that we can see what's going on. And you can see here that Word has split up the runs in this paragraph. There are now three runs in this paragraph, as you would imagine there should be. The first run contains the word on and a space. The second run contains the insert tab. And the third run contains the remainder of that sentence. Well, let's suppose that I want to insert a bookmark starting at the word tab and ending at the word the. So in other words, the bookmark is going to encompass that T-A-B and the bookmark is going to encompass that comma space T-A-G. Let's say that I found that location through some programmatic means. I searched for tab and I searched for the. But the problem is then one of, if I'm going to insert the bookmark markup, I'll need to split each of those runs in exactly the right place so that I can insert the bookmark start and the bookmark end elements in the right place in that paragraph. I have written code to do this before, and I have to say the code is a little bit fiddly. You have to go through all the runs and figure out how many characters are in each run, where your bookmark is going to start, where it's going to end, which run you're going to split, and so on. There's an easier way to deal with this. And this easier way is to split all of the runs in that paragraph up into runs of a single character. I've written a little class in Power Tools for OpenXML this class is called Run Splitter. This class has two public methods in it. The first is split runs. And what you do with this method split runs is you pass a paragraph to this method and it replaces that paragraph with a new paragraph where all of the runs have been split up into multiple runs, each with a single character in it. This example code also has another method in it called coalesce runs. And this method goes through and coalesce adjacent runs that have identical formatting into a single run. So in other words, if you first call split runs on a paragraph 
and then call coalesc runs immediately thereafter, you'll end up with exactly the same paragraph that you started with. Here is the code to exercise that split runs method. This code copies that test.docx that we just created and copies it to test2.docx. It opens it and it opens it for writing. It validates that this document doesn't have tracked revisions and then it finds the first paragraph in the document. In this case, it's the only paragraph in the document and it splits that paragraph up into multiple runs, each with a single character. And then it puts the main document part back and exits. Now let's run this example. It runs in no time at all. Now we can go look at test2.docx. I'll drag test2.docx onto the OpenXML package editor Power Tool in Visual Studio. I'll format the XML. And now what we see is this paragraph is filled up with lots of runs and each one of those runs has a single character in it. You can see up here at the top that there are three runs that each have a single character in there and there are no run properties. Dropping down a bit, we can see those runs that have bolded text in them and you can see that every single run has those run properties with the w colon b element in there. And if we drop down far enough, we'll see more runs that have a single character in them that have no formatting in them at all. This now enables us to go and make the change that I wanted to make in a really easy fashion. I told you that I wanted to insert a bookmark starting before the word tab and ending after the word the. And here we can see up here, here is the word tab. There is the T-A-B and those characters are bolded. And down here, here is the word the and those characters are not bolded. Well now it's as simple as coming up here and I'll insert a bookmark start element. It has an ID of one and it has a name of ABC. And I'll come down here after the word the and I'll insert a bookmark and element. With the bookmark and, you don't have to have the name attribute. You only need to have the ID attribute and it needs to match up with the ID attribute in the bookmark start. Now I can save this document and go open it in Word. When I open it Word, I can now go to the bookmarks dialog box and sure enough, we have a bookmark ABC. And if I tell Word to go to that bookmark, it does in fact go to the exact location where we wanted it to go to. However, the markup in that document is a little bit messy. We don't really want to leave all of those runs split up into multiple runs, each with a single character in them. We want to coalesce all of the adjacent runs that have identical formatting into a single run. So let's delete this test document and rename test2 to test. And let's change our example code to coalesce runs. And let's run the example. Let's look at test2.docx now. I'll format the XML. We can see that first there's a run with the word on in it. Then we can see that there's a run with the insert. And we can see our bookmark start element and then our bookmark end element that we inserted. Finally, followed with all of the content of the remainder of that paragraph. Now to do this programmatically, you would do something more or less along the lines of this. Here I have basically the same example program with a minor modification. Once again, the code finds the paragraph of interest in this 
particular case, it's the first paragraph in the document. It then splits that paragraph up into multiple runs. The run splitter dot split runs method returns an X element that contains the new paragraph that has split up runs. This is the paragraph element that is in the document at this point in time. I can write a little bit of code like this where I go into that split up paragraph. I find all the run elements. I skip the first 13 run elements, each with a single character. And I add after self the new bookmark start element. I add it with the ID of one and with the name of XYZ. And further, I can go into that same paragraph. I can skip 21 runs and I can add the bookmark end element. And finally, this calls the run splitter dot coalesce runs method on that split up paragraph. And then it puts the X document back into the main document part. So now if I run this example and let's look at the markup in test2.docx. I'll format the XML and let's go down here and look at the markup. And we can see it looks exactly like we expected to. There's a bookmark start element and the bookmark end element in the proper places. The name of the bookmark is XYZ, and all of those runs that each had a single character in them are all coalesced into runs with multiple characters in them. One key point about this technique. I did a couple of experiments at one point in time seeing what would be the performance profile if I split up every run in a fairly large document into runs of a single character, and as you can imagine, even on a modern computer with plenty of processing power, it didn't perform too well. Key point about this is that you use this technique very selectively. You first of all find the paragraph that you want to manipulate in some special fashion, where you want to insert content between characters in runs, and you don't want to worry about where those runs are split up. And then you split that paragraph up into multiple runs where each run has a single character. Then you do your insertion of your bookmark start and end elements or what have you. And then you coalesce it and then proceed on your way. Don't do this to the entire document and then make your modifications. Do it to just the paragraph or paragraphs that you really need to manipulate. That's all I'm going to show in this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.